Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing? It's your girl Twin D, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe, like the videos, and of course, go through the playlist so you can learn more about your twin flame journey, what you're responsible for as a divine masculine and as a divine feminine. You'll find all the information you need in my playlist, and you can just what for the videos that's going to appear at the end of this video where you can just click on those videos to continue to get some more information, especially if you're new on this channel. Anyways, guys, today we'll be looking at who is your divine masculine. There are two ways why, two reasons why people would ask that question. One you are enlightened, you are awakened, you're seeing the 1111 sign, and you think you're a twin flame, but you do not know who that person is. If that's your case, you can watch this video that I'll be placing on the screen. The link will appear. That will take you to the video. You're seeing 1111. Am I a twin flame? That's one reason you will be wondering who your divine masculine is. For your second reason, you will be wondering who your divine masculine is because you cannot figure them out. You do not understand them. You do not know what's going on with the masculine, with your masculine. You cannot understand the connection between you and them. You don't even know why you have a divine masculine. Now that's the topic that I'll be explaining to you today. So you're wondering, who is my divine masculine? You don't know how you come to have a relation with this person or even the purpose of this person in your life. So let's look at it. Your divine masculine is the part of you that you have buried on the inside. Let me say that again. Your divine masculine is the part of you that you have buried deep down on the inside of you. The part that you have forgotten. The part that hurts. The part that you don't want anyone to know about. The part that you are not happy with. The part that you want to change about you so badly that you want to just put it behind you and forget about your past self. That's your divine masculine. And that's why you are told on this twin flame journey that your divine masculine is a reflection of you. This is because your divine masculine is the part of you that you wish to forget. If you notice, the divine masculines will do things or yeah, say they do things, but these things that they do in regards to you, the way they may treat you, the, the things that they may do, these are the things that you have buried on the inside that you wish that you had forgotten. Say, for instance, you're a very jealous person. And you're trying to get over that jealousy issue. Most of the relationships you've had in the past, you were always jealous. That reason may have been why some of you ended relationship with your person or your person ended relationships with you because you were overly jealous. That is also a wound that you need to work on. So your divine masculine will reflect your wounds to you. Your divine masculine is the wounded part of your soul. The part that's broken. I'll say it again. 
Your divine masculine is a part of you that is broken. Your divine masculine will act in ways that will remind you of things from your past. Your divine masculine, like I just used jealousy as an example. Your divine masculine will act in ways that will cause you to be jealous. Take you back to past relationships when you were acting jealous. When you were behaving like that because... You just couldn't control yourself. Now that you're a twin flame, you figure this out and you realize that you need to heal those wounds. Your divine masculine will bring them to the surface. To the surface, I should say. So that you can heal those wounds. And again, this is the very reason why you will be told that once you work on yourself, you will also be working on your divine masculine. When you heal yourself, you will be healing your divine masculine. Because your divine masculine, are, they are projecting to you the part of you that you don't like, that you don't want to admit that is there, that you try to hide, that you try to bury. So that you can get rid of those insecurities and negative emotions and those addictions. So that you can be pure again. And be that servant of God that God meant you to be. So if you are still wondering who your divine masculine is. Just look deep down on the inside of you. Look very deep past, past the, the self that you know and go deep down into your soul and find that part of you that you are trying to cover up, that you're trying to forget. The wounds that you have hidden that you have not worked on. So if you're wondering how to heal your divine masculine, that's what you have to do. Find the part of you that you hid, the part of you that is broken, the part of you that is hurt. That's where you will find your divine masculine. Your divine masculine is relying on you to heal so that they can be healed. Like I said, your divine masculines are the part of you that you have hidden. They are the broken part of you. And they are here in your lives to remind you the parts of you that you hid. The parts of you that are broken and needs to be fixed. Your divine masculine will act in ways that you don't understand. But if you pay close attention to their actions, the things that they do that make you sad, that makes you upset, that disappoint you, you will realize and recognize that they are reflecting your wounds to you. Those wounds that you wish to forget. If you are easily angered and triggered, and that has always been a problem in your life. Your divine masculine is going to act in ways that will get you upset. That will get you angry all the time. And you are to now heal that wound by learning to remain calm. By learning to not jump to conclusions. By learning to control yourself. If you have an issue with people pleasing, that's the way your divine masculine will act. They will be in the issue. They will have the issue of pleasing people. They are you and you are them.
but to be very distinct in who your divine masculine is. Look at your wounds. Their soul is the part, is the other half of your soul that needs to be mended. That is broken. And I'll continue to say it until you guys can get it. If you still refuse to believe that you are responsible for your masculine's healing, I would advise you to purchase my book, Are You a Twin Flame? The Chaser's Guidebook. You can find it on my website, twindflamed.square.site. Or if you cannot wait on shipping, you can go to my blog and download the ebook at womanual.club. That's W O M A N U A L dot club, C L U B. This book will open your eyes as to what twin flames are your roles, what your wounds are, and how to heal them and align yourself for union. It will also teach you how to release your divine masculines so you can be in that place of peace, learning to love yourself alone, and that spiritual connection that you need, which is the glue to keep the twin flames together which is connecting to God the divine masculine like you if they are in denial especially if they are in a third party relationship if they are in denial of your connection it could be that you are in denial of who you are if they are codependent on this person it is because the divine feminine is codependent as well. And in order to heal these wounds, you have to be true to yourself. And you, divine feminines, being true to yourself is going to cause your divine masculines to also be true to themselves and tell themselves, I do not belong here. I am living a lie. And again, if you do not heal, if you do not accept what you are, who you are, your faults, your mistakes, if you still cannot see anything that's wrong with you, if you cannot admit that you have these wounds, these faults, these insecurities, then neither will your divine masculine. And that's why you have some of us who have been on this journey for 10 years and more. Because you refuse to accept that you have faults. The first step to healing a problem is to accept that you have one. You cannot heal what is not broken. And if you do not know it's there, you cannot heal it. And your masking will bring that up for you to see as well. If you cannot admit that you have a fault, if you cannot admit that you have a problem, an insecurity, an issue, if you cannot accept that sometimes these relationships that were broken was because of us, ourselves, then your divine masculine will never see that where they are, they do not belong. They will not come to the conclusion that they are living a lie. And that's why healing depends on the divine feminine. That's the reason why the divine masculine's healing de depends on the divine feminine. If your divine masculine is not making any changes, it's not because they are not doing the work. It's because the divine feminine is not doing the work. You are responsible for their healing, divine feminines, because your divine masculines are the broken part of you. And that's why, again, 
They are your mirror. And you are their mirror. Whatever is wrong within your divine masculine is wrong in you. So, if you are wondering who your divine masculine is, just take a look on your inside. Just look at what you have been avoiding. What you have buried and you will find out who your masculine is. And once you find that out, it will make it so much easier for union to happen for you. Because you will know exactly what you are working towards. So if it's insecurities, you learn to work on that. And your divine masculine will become stronger. Who is your divine masculine? They are the broken parts of you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and of course, go to the playlist that will appear at the end of this video so that you can learn more about your twin flame journey. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your support. Love you all. Let go and let God, everyone. And I'll see you at your next message. Later, everyone. If you have any questions, just leave them in the description box below. Later.